This is the Bayfront, Computer Network's home office building in Boston's financial district. Nicknamed BCN, which is shared with the city's famous FM radio station, WBCN. The high-tech company's skyscraper has dark granite walls and darker windows. It is the first Monday in April of our current year. Newly hired Mia LeBlanc swarms towards BCN's main entrance. A disheveled homeless man thrusts a hefty lawn and leaf bag at the hustling 22-year-old. New trash bag? Still neatly folded? Uh, Five dollars, missy? Like, totally. Got a bag in hand. Mia's hand dives into her briefcase, resurfaces with coins between her fingers. The homeless man clutches her airborne generosity as she spins away. Thanks, sweetie. God bless you. She checks her watch, then glares upward as three blackbirds take flight from a nearby tree. Stepping quickly, Mia reaches the revolving doors to the BCN lobby, then rotates with them. Once inside, she has no time to enjoy the paintings of colonial Boston hanging on the walls. Scattered staffers glance at her. She resembles a fitness model in a business suit as she beholds the huge wall clock. Instead of a crowded wait for an elevator, she smashes through a lobby door to a stairwell, hops quickly to the 10th floor landing, then bursts into the office of Tim Snakeman, her new manager. Impeccably dressed, white, and in his mid-thirties, his review of papers at his desk pauses immediately. Mia settles on a guest chair in front of the desk. Been a while since your graduation. Our first candidate, tired of delays, took a job in New York. Awesome. Give me a month. You won't recall his name. Great attitude. Our staff, like family members. He waves off his entering secretary. Inspirational. Yet to see your office. Questions? Was going to mention my new database technology. Finally, like totally, completed it last week. It'll wait. Tell me about it. Bigger social data, on the cloud, or your hard drive. Hmm. Even in one data set, analysis and transactions simultaneously. More transactions per second. Totally. Faster networks, data exchanges. You're batting a thousand. It's perfect. Like... Taking a breakaway slapshot at a third string goalie. You coded and tested this stuff? Programmed, compiled, tested, wrote a user manual. Initially overwhelmed, he recovers. Bring it in. Maybe BCN will promote it with you. Tomorrow? Totally. Your cubicle's 1023A. Supervisor Christina, 1012C. In a small cube with gray fabric panels, me encounters her 20-something African-American supervisor, Christine. Mounted above her desk are autographed photos of Jesse Jackson and Coretta Scott King. Been a while, Mia. Northeastern IT studies prep you for this? Like, totally. Clarify our services. Claim your career as our technical marketer. Christine introduces co-workers en route to Mia's cubicle, which is beige and badly lit, with a lamp and one guest chair. My office, always open. Got a huge 9 a.m. staff meeting week from today. Mia updates her organizer, then digs into the marketing examples on her desk. Hours later, she types her first memo. Day two begins as did day one in Tim's office. She slides her database technology materials to him as he greets her. Find us to your liking? Totally awesome. Too busy to review your database now. A lot of copies in circulation? Not a school project. Nobody's heard about it. Just a spare time thing. Nothing beats surprising the world. He places her materials on his in-basket. The week flies quickly by as Mia updates company sales brochures, interrupted only by lunch with co-workers. Come Monday morning next, BCN staff and management hasten into the first floor auditorium with its theater style seating. Human Resources Director Melinda Dumont takes the center stage with microphones. CEO Charles, CEO Charles Presser, Presser will speak in a minute. minute. Meantime, IT manager, manager Timothy Snakeman, please, please join me. Tim bounds to her side. Together, Together we'll, we'll promote his, his new database, database technology, technology worldwide. worldwide. Mia. Nearly chokes. Welcome, Welcome our, our newest, newest senior, senior vice, vice president, president, Tim Snakeman. Snakeman.
They embrace spectators of blood. Mia nudges her young Asian American co worker, Veronica Wong. Gonna be sick. Let me by. They scurry through the theater's main door, then to the first floor woman's room. The only sound in its large empty space is the whoosh of air conditioning. You're so pale. Unsure of their relationship, Mia speaks cautiously. Something I ate? Got chills? Nausea. Get you to your office. Veronica remains a close escort, en route to Mia's cubicle. My coat will kill the chill. Keep your company. Infuriated, Mia needs space to decompress. Done plenty already. I'll catch our meeting. Wrap up. Twenty minutes pass before Mia storms in, body pulsing with adrenaline to confront Snakeman in his office. Heard you took ill during our meeting. You get my credit? What? You stole my work. Tim bristles. My program, not yours. As though victimized by a hockey game blindside check into boards at the edge of the ice, she's livid. My seed money for foundation of the LeBlanc Cancer Research Foundation. Delusional. That program's mine, from beginning to end. Mia all but secretes venom. Don't think I have the prototype at home? My prototype. Registered with patent and copyright office. Copies are here and at home. She leans, flattens hands on surface of his desk. Like your karma on you. I write you up. HR gets involved. She straightens, swivels her body towards door. Thanks for the great option. Complain to anyone, I'll sue you. Bluffing. Empty threats. Try me. Not here working hard, fire you. Rage distorts her face. Stole my mom's destiny. Totally. Threateningly, Tim latches onto his desk foam handpiece. Mia slams a guest chair into his desk, darts away. To the south and more inland, Mia's college chum Clayton Barstow is nearing his release from the Bay State Norfolk Correctional Center. Her silent cell phone receives his message. They meet later in the waiting room of Boston South Station Public Transit Terminal. Their bear hug barely completed. She produces her bag of takeout food to tease him. Welcome out. Subs from your favorite deli. Guess what? Tune in, let us on ride. You're still... I'm up for that. He spots nearby benches, leads them to remote seats in a corner. Mia serves. Clay's first to use handy wipes. They clink their soda cans. Dining commences. Cop 18 months of free prison housing by hack of mom's insurance company. Like, biggest test? Your life. How's first freedom grub? Beach prison food? Ah, it's great. Some manners? Gonna take me a while. No worries. 21st century world. Couldn't bear you seeing me there. Didn't lie completely. You did have three square meals and a place to live free of charge. The public address system blares as agile travelers zoom by lines of people purchasing train tickets or food in this square, oversized room. What's wrong with working at? Bayfront Computer Networks, BCN. Like at them radio station? How bad is it? Our department manager stole my million dollar database program. Unaware of details, he misunderstands her. Lucky your hockey stick stay home. Openly declared it was his during big staff meeting and went postal in his office later. Like, totally lost it. Now he understands. You must have. No patent. Never shared it with anyone. Clayton pounds his armrest. Hey, Sammy glicked you. Say who? Fictitious character. But Schulberg's book would make Sammy run. You telling a story about Jogger Man, Sam? He built a career stealing work of writers. The book's in prison library. Their conversation proceeds quickly as they choose slowly. Mia's frustration leads to Clay's bold proposal. Can repay you for being my character witness in court. Yeah, like, become my hitman. We avenged Tim's theft by looting BCN's financial systems. Let me score a meeting with Remy Gonzalez. We get him on board, we're golden. Must have mentioned him to you in the past. We go back to grade school. Very creative programmer. The public address system blares again as the crowd grows. Special replacement buses will be in operation. Mia's mind shifts quickly from hearing Remy's name to reality. Clay's being free from prison for less than two hours. Clay, you're not yet 90 minutes in ex-con. Not the wrong way to 
We're platinum. So we'll then flee on a pirate ship. <laughs> By flying the friendly skies, we'd escape to a country. No extradition to U.S. Her sudden acceptance of Clay's proposal stuns him. Like, totally doable. Can't give me that look. Who stole chemistry lab keys when we needed exam answers? Proper respect to you now, especially since you would have nailed the test on your own. The following week, me and Veronica lunch on sushi, outdoors at Faneuil Hall. With an easy walking distance of BCN, it bustles with locals and tourists throughout the attractive marketplace, along with its second floor meeting hall. The historic complex has existed since 1742. Amazing office gossip this week. Like... Snake Man's not capable of creating a new database. Either he bought his or stole it. Mia's visibly shaken. That's floating around the company? Speculation spreads, as only because he had its patent management partnered with him. Mia's flabbergasted as they wave off a Thomas Jefferson impersonator in colonial period clothing. Totally toxic workplace. Ben checking for work outside the BCN. My phone and email inbox, cobwebs and ice cubes. Trapped. My posting house in a different department. Gotta, like, notify Christine? Yep, of course she'll tell Tim. A woman costumed as a lobster drops coupons on their table. Nearby bells toll the passing of lunch hour. Back at her desk, Mia's cell phone screen displays email from Clay, there to meet, along with Remy, at the Back Bay Arcade at 8 p.m. on Friday. When the moment arrives, Clay and Mia are in a foggy haze outside the restaurant arcade. Athletically built, Remy emerges dramatically, evocative of a Latino David Beckham, sporting two facial scars just before his right ear. Mia, Remy Gonzalez. Remy, Mia LaBlanc. The new acquaintances fist bump as Mia simpers from ear to ear. Remy's response is partially in Spanish for, as my uncle says, peace and happiness. As my tío says, paz y felicidad. We, we know, know that, that one. one. Peace, peace and, and happiness. happiness. A handkerchief in hand, Clay turns the arcade's doorknob, then forces the door open with his hip. You like, germaphobic? Mia and Rem face each other. Prison. Prison. The Back Bay Arcade game section is an indoor playground with head-splitting sounds. Wandering adults and unattended children scatter about. Fortunately, the reception area, with its glass display cases, presenting clothing, plates, mugs and cups for sale, is just inside the door. Dining? Arcade games? Drinks in a booth? The hostess aims a finger at the dining room. Pick your place and your poison. They park themselves in a dining room corner booth. Mia's opposite Remy. Clayton's at his side. An angelic waitress joins in. I'm Bridget. No menus means drinks only. A picture of Sam Adams? It's in the mail. She veers off to the bartender. Mia is her unchangeably blunt self. Like, where are you at with Clay's idea, Remy? Remy taps the huge sliding fixture overhead. Oi, I'd be half loco if ripped off like you were. I was already half crazed. Rest of the trip, wicked short. Bridget gleefully fills three mugs from a pitcher. Need no widget? Shout out Bridget! Clayton observes her departure, raises his mug. Toast! To like? Remy's response is in Spanish for liberty. Libertad! They inhale scents of nearby food, wafting through the air. Not quite legal seafoods, but it'll do. Legal seafoods, brava. Lobster and crabs. Scallops and shrimp. But especially there, New, New England, England clam chata. In hysterics, Remy refers to her as very good in Spanish. Right, oh, Clay. Mia es muy bien. Clay pulls into the overhead light that already bathes Mia. Make us a threesome, join our team. Mia baits her hook to elicit a telling response. Bossman Tim's Devil Incarnate. You two, be my angels. Remy proposes another toast. To Europe's green pastures. As we and money disappear united. Airborne before they miss it. Clay's now giddy as they quaff Sam Adams. I'm up for that. With a mock look of shock, 
Mia's hands press against her cheeks. My friends? Criminals? Prison time. My street cred. You unimpressed, Chica Blanca? Confused as what she is. Was that a taunt or challenge? Chica Blanca, huh? Is that like a term of endearment with you? Is Mia LeBlanc not the Mia in white in French? Isn't Speedy Gonzalez fast mouse in Spanglish? Remy's one finger snap is a cultural awakening for Mia. Ooh, Chica Blanca gives as good as she gets. Go ahead, Rem Man, test her. Speedy Gonzalez, el mucho rapido raton. Speedy Gonzalez, very fast rat. Totally. Oi, next time, a real test. Too thrilled to stop there. Mia adds a new challenge to his test. She strikes her best bad girl pose and growls. Take you out any time. You? And who's army? Montezuma's? With Clayton lost in his focus on Bridget, Mia and Remy depart for the nearby subway station. Once there, they glide past it into Boston Public Garden. Lean against a park bench, kissing commences by a smooth, moonlight lagoon and marks the end of our demo reel. If you're intrigued by the story, consider bringing your industry expertise to the development of it into a feature-length film. For your copy of the complete screenplay, please let us know via email at demo at forest.com. A copy of the complete script will promptly arrive in your inbox. Thank you very much for your time and consideration.